All right, so the mission today is we're going to record some drums. Something that I do here in my studio uh, is record a lot of drums. And one of the ways that we go about doing that is doing remote recording sessions. Sometimes we're co-producing songs. My buddy Frank and I do a lot of work together. So we'll get a demo and then we'll basically recreate everything from the ground up. I have a lot of drums and I have a lot of options here and ways to record them. So I'm gonna take you through this process of selecting the right drums for the song. But I wanna bring you in and let you see a couple different options and then I'll play it with the track so you can hear it in context how they fit and how I landed on the choices that I landed on. So we'll check out some snares and we're gonna check out some cymbals as well. All right, let's go over there. Okay, so the first off, the song that we're doing is this hybrid between country and almost a rock sounding production. So there's gonna be acoustic guitars, there's like banjo, but there's also really overdriven guitars and overdriven slide on electric guitar. And it definitely kind of bounces back and forth. But as far as the engineering and the sound selection, we're going for more rock sounds on this. For the drums, we're using this 1968 Ludwig kit. This is my buddy Frank's. Um, this is a 22 by 14, 13 inch tom, 16 inch tom. And uh, you can admire our project here, this stand. Um, it wobbles a little bit because the floor shakes, but when I play, everything is nice and stable and you don't hear any of that vibration, which is really nice. But we've got literally, what, two, four, five mics on here, kick in, kick out, toms, and ride on one, literally one stand. Very heavy duty stand. As you can see, I'm putting this, if you haven't used this R44 before, it is an insanely heavy mic. Um, so this is an extremely strong stand, but that doesn't really matter for this video, but it's, it is kind of hilarious to see. We've got the rock kit, the Ludwig big boomy, you know, larger than life, kit sounds but the other huge hugely is hugely a word the other epically <laughs> the other important part of the drum sound is going to be the snare and the cymbals so i'm trying out some new cymbals that i've been really excited to check out they're from zildjian these are the crashes these are called k cluster crashes we've got an 18 inch here and a 20 inch here so I will be using these. These are really nice. They're not too dark. They're not too bright. And they sound really great. They're, they're thinner sounding too, so they don't sound too overwhelming in the mix. And then we have these Constantinople, which uh, is a really cool and interesting symbol. This is a 20 inch medium thin low, and this is the 22 inch medium thin low. Now I'm going to put up the 22 inch for this and we'll do a little section so you can just hear just the symbols alone.
it's really you want to think about getting big drum sounds and a good drum mix by picking the right stuff and how you play it and how you tune it. You're, I mean, that is the drum mix, really. When you get the sounds that you want, it has far less to do with after the recording is done and almost everything to do with what you record and how you treat it and how you tune it and stuff. So I'll demonstrate that now by showing you some of these snares. So these are great go-tos here, actually all very different price ranges. This is the Ludwig Universal Metal Snare. I believe this is a five inch by 14 inch snare drum. Uh, it's a black over chrome. It's kind of like a, a little bit of a cheaper Black Beauty style. At least that's how I characterize it. But it's, I think it's like two or 300 bucks and it sounds unreal for that price. It sounds really, really good. And you can tune it in a variety of different ways. Next, we have the Gretsch Bell Brass. And that is the most intense snare that we have in here. I think it's probably 20 pounds. <laughs> it's very, very heavy. Six and a half by 14. Usually when I'm tuning this, I'm tuning it down and muffling it, which is kind of what we're going for on this mix here. Then the last one is this WFL3, this is a 1909 aluminum snare, six and a half by 14. These three snares are very, very different and very totally different price points. Again, it's like 300 bucks. This one's like 1200 bucks. And I think the 1909 comes in somewhere around five or 600 bucks. So three totally different options and I'll throw them up and we'll listen to what they sound like with drum soloed and then we'll compare them in the mix. Little tip on snares, when you want your drums and snares to sound big and larger than life, uh, it's really the player who is responsible for this, in addition to the tuning and the selection and everything, but when you hit the drum really hard, it actually chokes out a lot of the tone in the drum. This also kind of depends on the tuning of the drum and the treatment of it, but in this case, since we're going for a pitched down kind of muffled snare drum. The lighter you hit it, the more tone you get from the drum. And when I hit it really hard, 
it really chokes out that air. When I hit it lightly, it sounds bigger and fatter. So my personal favorite out of the three different snares was the WFL3 1909 aluminum snare. That one just sat really well in the mix and uh, I don't know, it was just freaking awesome. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. Would love to hear your approach to tracking drums. This is mine. I have just learned from uh, doing a million drum sessions on uh, much bigger and more expensive sessions with drum cartridge companies and techs and producers and stuff. And I've tried to pull away the things that have resonated the most with me. So this is how I go about it. I'd love to hear what you guys think down below. If you want to check out some of these snares, I have links to them down in the description. Sweetwater affiliate links, sweetwater.com. They are sponsoring this video. So if you want to check out snare drums or check out any of these cool Zildjian symbols, again, I have the Constantinopoles, the K cluster crashes, which are what we used on this song. They sound absolutely fantastic, as well as the 14 inch new beats from Zildjian, all incredible cymbals and are probably gonna be used on a lot of remote sessions. If you'd like to book some remote drum sessions from me here in my studio, you can go to my website, andrewmastersmusic.com, as well as booking consultations if maybe you're setting up your own studio and you have some questions. Again, check out the website andrewmastersmusic.com and we'll see you on the next studio time.